my be <laughs> bumped into you. Hello, my beautiful friends of the internet, and welcome back to another vlog. Today we have a special guest, a fireplace. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Cody, Coco, and today we are doing something that, to be honest, I think I have seen on YouTube like a really long time ago. It's kind of an old trend, but it's where your husband or your boyfriend styles you. So I'm very interested to see what Cody decides for me to wear today. <laughs> We're not doing anything or nothing special is happening. Uh, I just want to see what he wants to see me in or what's he, what do you want to style me in? What's the vibe? So, okay, I already know what I'm going for. Okay. My question to you is, do I tell them now or are they going to like figure out at the end? Um, I mean, you just tell them. Or do you want me to even tell you? Maybe you don't even know. But we're gonna know as soon as you hand me the pieces to uh, wear. I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> you just tell them whatever you want to tell them. To be honest, I don't even know how I'm gonna fucking. But you need to pick out, okay, here's the rules. Okay? Here's the rules. We need a full blown outfit. Full blown outfit. Okay. Okay. And then we need a bag. A bag. Shoes. Shoes. Any kind of accessories. Accessories. Like jewelry, hair jewelry, things. Jewelry, hair things. That's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah, a whole fit. A whole fit. Yep. Yep. I put my hair in these like little things that I see. I seen it on TikTok. I don't know if it looks cute or not, but um, I guess if you want me to change that for the vibe, that's fine too. Mm -hmm. All right, ready? On your mark, get set, go. I gotta go through <laughs> your whole ass closet yep. and figure out what I'm I'm sorry, I have Just way too much meal, stuff. Shirt by shirt. <laughs> do you even know? Do you know how my closet is organized? Yeah. Well, I put laundry up sometimes. It's like it goes yeah, t-shirts. Yeah, you usually put them in the wrong places. <laughs> I hate to Excuse say me. it. <laughs> but yeah, shirts are pretty much up top, and then bottoms, and then. See, I really like this guy. I yeah, really the like teddy him. Bear. He's cool. Yeah. He's kind of a vibe. Uh huh. Maybe not the vibe I was thinking. Right. But seeing that, I'm like, maybe I change it up. Okay, she's a vibe. Yeah. So I know I had like a, I said I had like a plan and I had it figured out. I don't actually have it figured out now. <laughs> <laughs> actually coming in here made it worse. Okay, now now you know what I deal with every time we like have to go Shit. get ready for a f***ing <laughs> date or something like that. <laughs> Zero deaths, bros. Zero deaths. Oh, that's like pink. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's also a, very, a vibe. A soft pink. That's a vibe. Yeah, I know. That's, honestly, I will never get rid of that sweatshirt. PewDiePie till the day I die. I know, for real. Like, this is like, <laughs> honestly, this is like a piece of history. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, archaeologists are going to find this and be like, put... Archaeologists? <laughs> <laughs> and they're going to be like, we got to put this in a museum. <laughs> I don't know what archaeologists are going through our closet. Museum. <laughs> yeah. You remember that weird app <laughs> called YouTube from like 2,000 years ago? <laughs> Here's a sweatshirt from one of the biggest creators on there. <laughs> we found it in a house in the middle of nowhere. All right. I see you really eyeballing that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to wear a t-shirt or a sweatshirt? I don't care. It's, you know it's what? Yours. Never mind. It's not your choice. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's literally you. You choose whatever. Oh, I also have like sunglasses we can look at too if you want a sunglass moment. It's kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> Going back to the sweater. I'm, I'm looking at it and how it would look with something else. Mm hmm. But I think I may not use it. <laughs> you give up? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Let's just scrap this whole video. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm thinking. No. I'm breaking out the relic, baby. Mm. I think this is gonna be the. This is gonna be kind of like the topper. You don't love me, <laughs> right? Topper. The top. I'm feeling skirt action, to be honest. That's what I've been feeling. Mm-hmm. Kind of like the danglies. It's been like shit. I hope it turns out all right. <laughs> now, okay, shoes. Shoes, bag, accessories. Well, initially I thought chunky boots. Boots are usually like behind you. You can never go wrong with some chunky boots, but I'm actually kind of thinking some Sneak, chunky sneakers. Chunky sneakers with some tall socks, you know? Right. I'm locking them in. Okay. Now I need to go find long socks. Do you have any long black socks? Um, yeah, I think so. Well, I have these. Okay. <laughs> these are in. This is like a tied around your neck. Right, a little choker thing. Choker thing, yeah. And then the hair piece. The Sailor Moon backpack. Yeah, because I kind of got, you have like a little bit of a, 
Just a little bit of a vibe going on. <laughs> All right. Is I've picked everything? out the stuff. Okay. Do you want me? What do you want me to do with my hair? I see you picked out a bow. So you want me to like half up, half down with the bow? Sure. That sounds good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you like it? I do like it. <laughs> About to sit inside all day and play games. Yeah. <laughs> I actually, I I like this outfit. Um, obviously, it's like my clothes. Like <laughs> <laughs> I like this. I am weirdly, I like every piece that you picked out. <laughs> <laughs> but I really like the little um, choker with the sweatshirt because I usually don't wear something like this whenever I wear a sweatshirt because it's already so like up in the neck, you know? Mm -hmm. But I think it looks really cute. You like it? I do like it. I will say I have the hairiest legs of all time right now <laughs> for wearing a skirt, but. I was going for comfy with the tennis shoes cause like we're like playing games, right? We're gonna be relaxing all day, so. Yeah. I think the boots would have been a little too much. I think the yeah. tennis shoes are nice. Yeah, I, I, love, I love these tennis shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. I will say, I think for outfit aesthetic, maybe it would have been cuter if they were like black or if they were pink or something. Yeah, like you the match, like the black and pink you got going on. Right, but I still think the outfit is really cute. I think you did a very, a very good job. <laughs> oh yeah, and then I put the thing in my hair. Mm-hmm. You like that? Yeah, I do like that. I also did the earrings. Cody picked out these moon earrings to go with it, and then the Saturn necklace along with the little ribbon choker. I was surprised you didn't pick a nose ring. Ah, uh, damn it! Some sunglasses. <laughs> no, I wouldn't have done sunglasses. Here we go. I'll help you out. <laughs> <laughs> I like this outfit a lot. I mean, it is very comfy and cozy. I mean, it's like wearing a moo moo. I picked out an outfit that like, like we're gen genuinely, we're gonna play video games later. So like, I didn't want you to like, okay, well now I'm gonna change to my video game outfit. No, like this is, this is a gaming outfit. Right. Also the PewDiePie sweatshirt's just unmatched. It's just so cool. PewDiePie, the number one gamer. Was that which, what in history? The 90 Mill Club. Damn baby. It's a long time ago. <laughs> now, what's he at? Like 140? Or, no, I think he's at 150 or 60 million now. Maybe. I could be. Because this was like. Could have hit 200 million. Uh, every 10 million, he like came out with another set of merch. Yeah, well, I think now at this point, it's. I can't make no more merch. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> it's too much merch! <laughs> I'm just getting all the subscribers. Well, I think also, like, PewDiePie's like not as much into the merch game anymore, or it's like. Before it was like uh, he was still playing games with them. Honestly, I think that came out whenever he was on his um, Minecraft kick. You getting dressed up to go play Dinkum? Yeah, Dinkum. That's our new fave game. Um, this backpack is fully empty, by the way. <laughs> she is strictly for show. But she's super cute, though. If you all are wondering, I got her from uh, Box Lunch, and it's Sailor Man. <laughs> Let me just show her off for a second. Give her a spotlight, you know what I'm saying? Beautiful handle. Everything. What? Now what? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you hopping and popping? You upset? No. I actually, I genuinely like the outfit. I mean, I'm definitely going to kick these shoes off real quick. And yeah, and I, off. like I said, I thought about doing like the flip of the, the pink skirt with the black, the black sweatshirt. sweatshirt. Same vibe. Same vibe. You just like that gamer, e-girl vibe. I mean, it's not the only vibe I like, but I was thinking like, what are we doing today? Puppy, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you forgot the greatest accessory. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> you heard him gulp. <clears throat> You're such a good boy. Just waiting around, just watching mommy and daddy do the weirdest shit. <laughs> It's Editing River here, and I just wanted to pop in here and tell you all that I know this video is a little shorter than 
regular videos. Um, but I am in the process of filming and editing for 31 Days of Halloween. I'm very excited about it and I hope you all are as well. And another thing I want to say is that next week I will not be posting any videos because I am going to be prepping for 31 Days of Halloween, filming more, editing more, and all of that good stuff. So if you are wondering where I am, that is where I am. And October 1st will be the start of 31 Days of Halloween where every single day in the month of October I do something spooky, scary, or Halloween related. And yeah. Also, if you all are wondering where like Spooky Diaries has been, <laughs> because I was doing that every Friday, but I think after 31 Days of Halloween that is going to be switching over to like maybe every other Friday because one she's just a lot of work for me to do two videos a week um and they be like good quality videos so they are switching over to every other friday but i also haven't been posting spooky diaries because things have just been so crazy here first i was sick for literally like three weeks straight with um a cold and then you know the c word the what rhymes with robid and then i've been dealing with 31 days of halloween stuff um and then puppy actually just had surgery on his foot a couple of days ago he's still healing from that um i actually hear him right now <laughs> coming in here hi baby hi <laughs> He is healing up well and nicely, but it was very scary and stressful there for a minute. Um, it wasn't like a serious surgery or anything like that. It was just a, um, they said it was a benign just mass that grew on his paw um, and they removed it. So, but I will say that we were having issues with that vet because when we picked up Puppy, um, they told us that he had bit like three people and stuff like that which i you know i understand that that's probably really frustrating and but the thing is that i told them that he is a biter he does not like the vet whatsoever ever since he got neutered actually he has not been very friendly um to strangers especially the vets so uh and he knows he knows the place he knows the people he just doesn't like them anymore um so i warned them that he is a biter usually when we take him to his vet appointments um they put a little muzzle on him or like you know the little cloth muzzles um just to keep him from biting so i expected them to do that or something you know but um i guess they didn't so long story short they essentially said that he had bit three people and in my opinion, I feel as though, and Cody's opinion, we feel that um, because of this, they didn't take as good of care of him as they should have, which is very upsetting because when they gave him back to us, he was filthy. He was covered in his own feces. Um, they said that he used the bathroom on himself because he was like really nervous and stuff but they didn't clean him up. And what was really frustrating about this is because he has his wound on his paw where they removed the lump. It was not covered in any way, shape or form. There was no bandaging or anything. And he was covered in feces, you know? So um, that was really frustrating just because like, I, you know, I didn't know if that wound would get infected and stuff like that. Sorry, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like trying to hold my phone. It's like all shaky. Sorry about that. But I was worried that his wound would get infected because he's literally covered in feces. And um, we asked them about like, why isn't this bandaged up? Like, is there a reason or like, you know, something like that. And they kind of got a little defensive and they basically just told us that it was fine and that it didn't need to be bandaged up which I don't know. I Googled around and went on TikTok as well and looked up other dog like paw surgeries that were similar to puppies and um, every other dog had it bandaged up. So yeah, I don't really know. Cody and I, we went to Petco and we got supplies and we have been um, trying to keep it you know, disinfected and um, bandaged up and stuff. Right now it's not bandaged because it's been a few days and we feel like it's kind of a good time to not have it bandaged up. Um, so yeah, that's just been a lot really, <laughs> really upsetting because the vets just seemed like they didn't want to take care of puppy anymore because um, 
of him biting. But, and I mean, I understand that it can be frustrating him biting people, but I told them beforehand, I tell them every time we go to the vet. And like I said, they usually just say like, oh, okay, thanks for letting us know. And then we'll, they put a muzzle on him. Um, but this time they did not. And then they just stuck him in a cage with his feces and an open wound after surgery so um pretty upsetting stuff and like I said I've been trying to do 31 days of Halloween I also have like I can't really talk about it just yet but I will be able to talk about it in the next few months but there is kind of like a a project I know like YouTubers say that but there's kind of like a project I've been working on um and I like legally can't say something about it um it's nothing too crazy or like too wild but that is something that I've been working on that you all will know in the future um so there's just been a lot <laughs> you know there's just been a lot going on um also every one of my family seems to be getting married um or having a bridal shower or you know it's just everything all the time so it's been pretty stressful and that's why videos haven't been regular and I'm very sorry about that. But hopefully we'll get through 31 days of Halloween and that'll be so much fun and amazing and keep us in the spooky spirit. And then after that, we'll get back on the regular schedule of, you know, vlogs, spooky diaries, and also hungry ghosts because that's been a while as well. So um, yeah, I just want to catch you all up on that kind of stuff and pretty much it. So um, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Thank you so, so, so much for watching and liking and commenting and subscribing. You all have no idea how much it truly, truly means to me. And I appreciate every single one of you. And um, I'll see you all October 1st, okay, for 31 days of Halloween. Get excited and get spooky with me. It's going to be hopefully a good month. So um, I'll see you all then and I love you. <laughs> Bye.